Well, hello, translation friends. It's Mark, the translator, and I'm here to show you how to use MakeCat today, which is a cat tool for translators with uh, built-in machine translation. It's something that you'll probably have to use if you end up working for translator.net, as you can see here. There are a few other agencies that might make you use it as well. It's a simple, easy to use tool that actually doesn't even require a login. So it's got basic functions, it's free. Have a go if you like that kind of thing. So I'm gonna show you how to translate a file and show you a couple of its really basic options. If you've got any comments at all, just write me a question in the comments and I'll get back to you. So one of the things about this particular program is that it applies machine translation automatically, which is good and bad. I'm not a big fan of that function. We're going to use that function today just because it's probably what the agency may want from you. If you want to disable machine translation, you just have to click here on settings, go to machine translation and just uncheck use in this project and the machine translation engine won't come up with anything for you. It uh, alleges to have a huge database of other translators' translations that will help you out. So that's either a good or bad thing, depending on your point of view. Let's start our project. So our project today, if you're a Simpsons fan, you're in for a treat. We're gonna be looking at a small text on good old Montgomery Burns from French. I've already selected that to English. We have the default translation memory settled there. So um, yeah, let's find our file, which we're going to just pick out from here. Let's have a quick open. So uh, if you want to add multiple files, I think you can do that. We're just going to analyze and see what MakeCat comes up with. It's about to come up with a few stats and bits that may or may not be useful for us. So it's going to compare the sentences in my document to other similar documents it's seen before. So it's saying that here, given uh, you know other similar documents it's worked on, it'll save you 40% in work time, three work minutes. Great, you've got an extra three minutes to make yourself a cup of coffee. So let's have a quick translate. You could theoretically send this somewhere. Um, and pay for someone else to translate it if you'd want to do that. You could split it between several translators if you really wanted to. That is apparently the magic of MakeCat. So let's see how those matches are going. Let's see what it comes up with. Um, okay, I think as well, in terms of tags, it will guess the tags for you. We'll then click and see how well it does. So, Having a look at the similar text that's already been put in, I'm just going to change that to go with our original just to show that you can. I'm then going to hit translated or I'm going to hit control enter and that will already be done that segment. Okay, second one, his favorite word is the term excellent, it is. I'm just going to change that to um, catchphrase here yeah, just because I want to show you that we can change that. Excellent. <laughs> Burns' most commonly assigned age is 104. Well, according to my original text, it's 105. So let's change that. Okay, so when we have those, uh, let's say at this point translated, our document is now done. We can run a QA report if we want to here and try and pull out any errors or bits that are missing. I'm happy with what we've got here so far. Um, so all that remains really is to get your final file. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to go here and you can download as you want. You can download it, the original. You could also export it as a bilingual XLIF. You could also take the translation memory out if you wanted to. We're just going to download the translation. It's just going to come up here. And uh, yeah, I didn't show you the original French version, but we saw it already. And um, yeah, we're just going to open it up here. I'm going to promise you that we're going to have a perfectly translated English document as we want it. So here it is, all good, pretty easy to work with. Uh, if you've liked this video and you like more content regarding translation, updates on the scene, updates in the industry and other tutorials like this, don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you soon for another video. Have yourselves a great day. Goodbye now.